Candlelight vigil in Suffolk after a shooting left two men dead and three others hurt. So this happened on East Washington Street late Thursday night. And tonight, Stephanie Johnson heard from family members. She has the story new at 11. Grief filled the air tonight as people came out to remember William Goodman Jr. and DeMonte Tillery. Many still in shock by what happened. There wasn't a dry eye in the gymnasium as people honored the memories of DeMonte Tillery and William Goodman Jr. My father was a good man and a good father. Family members say their death was unexpected. Matter of fact, I just went to pick up our tuxedos and shoes for the wedding and we were all so excited and then this happened. Both men are victims of gun violence. Last Thursday night, both men, along with three others, were shot outside of the HM White Bus Service building. Goodman died on the scene. Tillery later died at the hospital. Goodman's family says he hired Tillery as an employee for his business, Good Guys Trucking. They say the night of the shooting, the five individuals were together fixing the company's trucks. Trying to fix up the dump trucks, including my dad. He was there the entire week, but that night he was tired and he didn't stay up there. If he was not tired, he would have been up there as well. So everybody had one goal was to fix up the dump trucks. Goodman leaves behind six children and a fiance, while Tillman leaves behind five children. In total, 11 children are now without a father, and others are left without a son, brother, and friend. I'm going to say, I forgive you, but I do want you to pay for what you've done. Uh, justice, I don't want any retaliation, but I do want justice for my son. In Suffolk, Stephanie Johnson, 13 News Now. Suffolk's police chief also attended the vigil tonight, and he's urging anyone with information to call the crime line. That number is one triple eight. Lock you up. You can remain anonymous.